You need to modify your social media marketing campaign based on your online business type. I know this video is going to throw a lot of people off, but people need to understand this. One of the major reasons why a lot of otherwise intelligent and experienced social media marketers fail to get the results that they're looking for is the fact that they're using the wrong approach. Their approach to social media marketing and the websites they're promoting is a one-size-fits-all approach. Now, you don't need me to explain to you why that's a bad idea. It doesn't work in most areas of your life, and it definitely doesn't work when it comes to social media marketing. You can't look at this project with the mindset that as long as you pull traffic from social media platforms, then you can use the exact same method and the exact same communication tactics, regardless of the online entity or business you are promoting. Since we're using content to develop relationships on social media platforms, this one-size-fits-all approach is even more fatal. I mean, it's a bad enough idea as it is, but if you were to use a content-based campaign, it gets even worse. The reality is that different business types require different content and publishing strategies. You have to customize, modify, and tweak your particular content and publishing strategies on social media to fit the type of website you are trying to promote. Now, there are a huge number of website variations out there. In fact, there are too many. I would venture to say that the only limit, really, is your imagination. But if you were to categorize these different website types into four rough forms, they would more or less fall into the following. Publishing, e-commerce or dropshipping, email lists, and traffic sales. Again, there are many variations of these. But if you were to look at the different types of businesses out there, you can pretty much reduce them to these four types. When you study these closely, they have different needs. They have different features that must be addressed. Otherwise, you're not going to get the results you're looking for. Unfortunately, a lot of social media marketers would try to promote a blog the exact same way they would try to promote a dropshipping or e-commerce website. Similarly, somebody who is essentially just trying to sell their social media traffic is trying to do content marketing like somebody with a blog. It doesn't work. It doesn't make any sense. The bottom line is obvious. Different strategies require different content types. You must start with the type of online entity you are promoting. Are you promoting a blog? Do you have a website that uses a lot of articles? Do people contribute content? Well, you have a publishing website. Do you have a dropshipping online store? Maybe you built it with Shopify and you use Oberlo to get products from AliExpress. When people buy stuff from your storefront, your software orders the materials from AliExpress and you keep the difference. Maybe you sell from your own inventory. It doesn't really matter. You run an e-commerce website. This is very different from a publishing business. Similarly, if you make your money through your mailing list, you can't market on social media the same way as you would if you had an online store. Again, different strategies require different content types. What do you have available? Now that I've gotten you thinking about how special your specific website target is, I need you to look at the different content types available to you. You need to think outside the box. You need to look at all the available options out there and how you can create content that is tailored to your specific type of online entity. Here are the list of content types you can use to promote different online entities, but your specific focus and specialization should weigh more heavily on certain types of content instead of others. Audio clips, slideshows, infographics, diagrams, blog links, videos. The bottom line. Don't just think links. It really freaks me out. In fact, it really saddens me when I see a lot of otherwise capable social media marketers focus almost entirely on spreading their links. They think that this is the end game. Well, yes, links are important. I can see where they're coming from because when people click on a link, that's instant traffic. But you have to understand that depending on the type of target site you are promoting, you would build a tighter brand if you shared different types of content. In many situations, you probably would be better off sharing more audio or infographics and diagrams than if you were sharing naked links because people are bombarded with links every single day. You have to pay your dues. You have to become familiar enough to your target audience members using these different content types for them to eventually trust you enough to click on your link. Unfortunately, a lot of people have this in reverse. They start with the links, and when they get desperate, they then use other types of content. At that point, they're a day late and a buck short. Don't do that. Instead, use the derivative content first, 
and then play up the links. Also, not all of these formats work with your particular style of website. I would suggest that you look at your competitors first and pay close attention to the type of content they are currently sharing. What kind of format do they use? Are they sharing mostly picture quotes? Are they focused primarily on video? Do they have a special fondness for diagrams? This is not random. This is actually telling you all you need to know about how to appeal to your target audience members. This is no time to be revolutionary and come up with something new completely out of left field. That's not going to work. There's a reason why your competitors are not doing this. At this point in the game, you should focus on what everybody else is doing and reverse engineer their formats. Once you have established a distinct brand, then you can experiment with different formats, different ways of doing things, and possibly coming up with something that is distinct to your brand. But until and unless you reach that point, you need to focus first on reverse engineering what everybody else is doing. In other words, let them do your homework. Focus on what they're doing right and build on it. Figure out their areas for improvement and come up with a more compelling offer. Pay attention to what they're not doing. Avoid those because, obviously, it doesn't pay. I hope I'm being clear here. Make sure that your content types as well as your sharing strategies fit the type of business you're in. A little bit of reverse engineering can definitely go a long way. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.